Porto is UNA just another nuclear site. It is one of the most mysterious and fortified places on Earth, buried deep beneath a mountain. Iran's Fordo fuel enrichment plant was originally kept secret from the world. Today, it stands at the center of rising global tension, nuclear fears, and possible war. In this video, we explore what is the Fordo facility, how Iran kept it hidden from global surveillance, why is the world concerned about 60% uranium enrichment, the role of IR-6 centrifuges in nuclear weapons grade potential, Israel's and America's possible military responses, and why do experts call it a bunker of concern? Don't miss this deep dive into one of the most secretive nuclear sites on Earth. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss our upcoming videos. Now, let's get started. Buried deep within the heart of a mountain in Iran, the Fordo fuel enrichment plant stands as a testament to both human ingenuity and the lengths to which nations will go to protect their secrets. This underground nuclear facility has been shrouded in mysteries since its inception, hidden from the prying eyes of the world with layers of rock and advanced technology. But what exactly is going on inside those fortified walls? What is Fordo all about? The Fordo fuel enrichment plant is a nuclear facility located near the city of Qam in Iran. Unlike its more well-known counterpart, the Natanz facility, Fordo was originally a secret site. Its existence was only revealed by Iranian authorities in September 2009 during a visit by the UN nuclear chief. Construction of the facility began in 2006 under a mountain in the village of Ford and was designed to be resistant to aerial bombings. With a design capacity of 3,000 Fordo was designed to enrich uranium fuel for use in nuclear power plants. However, concerns were raised when satellite images revealed that the facility was being expanded beyond its initial scope. One of the key reasons for the secrecy surrounding Fordo was its location. Tucked away in a remote part of Iran, the facility was not easily accessible making it difficult for international inspectors to monitor activities there. Additionally, the plant was built deep underground, which made it harder to detect through conventional means. Despite these efforts to conceal the facility's existence, satellite imagery eventually revealed the true nature of the site, leading to concerns about Iran's nuclear program. In response to these concerns, Iran came clean about the Fordo site, stating that it would be used for research and development related to nuclear fuel. They also claimed that the site was not part of their current nuclear program and that it had been mothed. However, despite these assurances, the Fordo facility remains a source of concern for the international community. Uranium enrichment is a crucial process in the production of nuclear fuel. It involves increasing the concentration of the fissile isotope uranium-235 in natural or depleted uranium. At its most basic level, uranium enrichment is necessary to reach the minimum concentration of 3% of uranium-235 required for use in nuclear reactors. However, in the case of Iran's Fordo facility, the country has begun enriching uranium to levels far exceeding what is necessary for civilian nuclear programs. Iran's recent decision to enrich uranium to 60% has raised alarm bells around the world. This move has broken the country's long-standing commitment to limit its uranium enrichment to 3.67% and has brought it closer than ever before to the 90% threshold required for developing nuclear weapons. As a result, the United Nations Nuclear Agency has called for an urgent meeting to discuss the situation, and Iran has defended its actions as a necessary step to ensure the safety and security of its nuclear program. It's important to understand why uranium enrichment is such a sensitive issue in the first place. The main reason is that uranium-235 is the only type of uranium that can sustain nuclear f The process that powers nuclear reactors and weapons to sustain fashim a certain concentration of uranium-235 is required, known as the critical threshold. For reactors, the threshold is around 3 to 5 percent, while for nuclear weapons, it is around 90 percent. If a country can enrich uranium to 90 percent, it means they have the capability to develop nuclear weapons, which raises serious concerns for national and international security. Another reason why uranium enrichment is a sensitive issue is that many countries with civilian nuclear programs do not possess the capability to enrich uranium domestically. This means that they must rely on other countries to provide them with the enriched uranium they need for their reactors. However, this can create political and economic vulnerabilities, as well as concerns about the proliferation of nuclear weapons. Countries that are able to enrich uranium domestically can use this capability as a bargaining chip in diplomatic negotiations, or they may face pressure from other countries to limit their enrichment activities. Finally, it is important to consider the historical context of uranium enrichment and its impact on global politics. The first country to develop the capability to enrich uranium was Germany in the 19th, which led directly to the development of the atomic bomb and the start of the nuclear age. 
Since then, countries have been constantly jockeying for position in the global nuclear hierarchy, with each new development raising tensions and concerns about national security. The race to acquire the ability to enrich uranium shows no signs of slowing down, which means that the issue is likely to remain a sensitive and controversial one for years to come. At the heart of Iran's nuclear program lies the IR-6 centrifuge, a sophisticated machine that plays a pivotal role in the production of enriched uranium. Developed and manufactured entirely within Iran, the IR-6 represents a significant advancement in the country's nuclear capabilities and has been at the center of growing international concern. One of the primary reasons for this concern is that the IR-6 centrifuge is capable of enriching uranium much faster than previous models. This advancement has allowed Iran to produce more enriched uranium in less time, raising concerns that the country could potentially accumulate enough material for a nuclear weapon. Moreover, the IR-6 centrifuge is more efficient and compact than its predecessors, making it easier to hide in transport. This has raised concerns about the possibility of Iran moving the centrifuges to more secure locations or even developing mobile versions that could evade detection altogether. The IR-6 centrifuge is a key component of Iran's nuclear program, and it is important to understand its significance in order to fully grasp the complexities of the ongoing crisis. The Fordo facility in Iran has raised concerns among nuclear experts due to its potential to produce weapons-grade uranium, which could be used to develop nuclear weapons. These concerns have been fueled by several factors, including the facility's proximity to underground nuclear test sites and Iran's history of non-compliance with international nuclear agreements. One of the main reasons for the worry is that the Fordo facility uses advanced centrifuges that are capable of producing highly enriched uranium, which is the type of uranium that is used in nuclear weapons. Additionally, the facility is located deep underground, making it difficult to detect and monitor activities that could indicate the production of nuclear weapons. This has led some experts to label Fordo as a bunker of concern. Furthermore, Iran's past behavior has contributed to the suspicions surrounding the Fordo facility. In 2003, Iran was found to have violated the agreement by producing and stockpiling large amounts of nuclear materials without declaring it to the I. This lack of transparency has made it difficult for the international community to verify Iran's claims about the peaceful nature of its nuclear program. Moreover, the Fordo facility is located in a region of Iran that is known to have underground nuclear test sites. This has raised concerns that Iran could use the facility to develop nuclear weapons and then test them in the region. The combination of these factors has led many experts to believe that the Fordo facility could pose a serious threat to regional and international security. Israel and America have consistently threatened military action against Iran's nuclear facilities, particularly in the face of stalled diplomatic efforts and Iran's continued defiance of international demands to suspend its uranium enrichment program. The perceived threat posed by Iran's nuclear program, especially the potential for developing new weapons, has heightened tensions in the region and raised concerns about the possibility of a wider conflict. Israel has long been believed to possess nuclear weapons and has reportedly carried out airstrikes against Iranian targets in Syria in recent years. While neither Israel nor America has explicitly stated a willingness to carry out strikes against Iran's nuclear facilities, it remains a topic of debate and speculation. A strike on Fordo would be a bold and risky move that could have significant implications for regional stability. On one hand, it could be seen as a necessary measure to prevent Iran from acquiring nuclear weapons. On the other hand, it could provoke a wider conflict between Israel and Iran and lead to further instability in the region. Several factors would need to be considered before deciding whether or not to strike Forda, including the potential risks and consequences, the effectiveness of the strike, and the availability of alternative diplomatic solutions. It is important to note that any military action against Fordo would likely be met with fierce resistance from Iran, which could have significant implications for regional stability. Additionally, the international community would likely respond strongly to any unilateral military action taken by Israel or America potentially leading to further tensions and conflicts. In conclusion, the Fordo facility in Iran is a controversial nuclear site that has raised concerns among the international community due to its potential to produce weapons-grade uranium and its proximity to underground nuclear test sites. While Iran claims that its nuclear program is for peaceful purposes only, the country's past behavior has contributed to the suspicions surrounding the Fordo facility. Israel and America have reportedly carried out airstrikes against Iran's nuclear facilities in Syria in recent years and have 
threatened further action. If Iran does not suspend its uranium enrichment program, a strike on Fordo would be a bold and risky move with significant implications for regional stability and should be approached with caution. The international community should continue to seek diplomatic solutions to the ongoing crisis and explore all available options before considering military action. What do you think of Fordo? Is it a bunker of concern or is it nothing to worry about? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you never miss another video from us. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.